Hi guys, welcome to the RPB Resonance Commission. Now we are discussing about uh, color of the complex compounds. Color of the complex compounds. Okay. Now some of the complex compounds like a copper plus two complex, a titanium plus three in aqueous complex like a KMnO4, K2Cr2O7, they are having the particular color. Okay, copper plus two, it should be blue, intense blue color, intense blue color. Now titanium plus three, it is a purple color. Okay, KMnO4, it should be purple uh, in concentrated solution. For diluted solution, it should be pink color. Okay, K2Cr2O7, it should be orange red color. Okay. Some of the complex compound it shown the color. Let us take the another another assumption. So S and P orbital uh, doesn't show the color. That means those are, those are colorless complexes. Those are colorless complexes. If in case of D complexes, particularly especially like a uh, transitional elements, they are having the particular color. They are exhibiting the particular color. They, they are exhibiting the particular color. We know that. We don't know that. Okay. We don't know the reason behind the complex compound will exhibit the color. Okay. Really, we don't know. Okay. Let us discuss one by one. So, why, why they are exhibiting the colors? Why they are exhibiting the colors? Okay. And about we have this some sample. So, that is nothing but our complex. Okay. Which is nothing but uh, our complex sample. Now, whenever we send this some radiation, we will send the. Uh, that means uh, uh, the color of the complexes uh, we, to visible to our naked eye. That means uh, our sending radiations are UV visible. Okay, visible range can only uh, uh, visible for our naked eye. Okay, so whenever we will send the UV visible radiation, it uh, sample it absorbs the radiation. Sample it absorbs the one of the radiation. UV visible uh, originally associated with uh, like uh, seven colors. VGR, okay, V I B G Y O R. That means violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. Okay, so UV visible associated with these all these complexes. Sorry, all these colors. Whenever we will send the UV visible radiation to the sample, it absorbs the colors. It absorbs the color. Then it emits the it emitted one of the color. It emitted one of the color. Okay, so for example, it, it it absorbs the like violet color, then it emits the yellow color. Okay, if it absorbs the blue color, then it emits the orange color. Like uh, one of the color it absorbed, then it emitted uh, one another another color, another color. So this emitted color is nothing but complementary color. Okay, this emitted color is nothing but complementary absorbed and emitted uh, uh, radiation of the complex compounds. Uh, which is explained by the spectral representation. So we know that uh, this is the spectral of uh, uh, different uh, ranges of spectrum. Now here, this is microwave, like a radio or microwave, IR, UV, visible. Now here UV, like uh, X-rays, gamma rays, X-rays, gamma rays. Now here the uh, UV visible range is like this. Okay, now from violet to red, from violet to red, the nanometers are like a 400 to 750 nanometers, 400 to 750 nanometers, in angstroms, in angstroms 4000 to 7500 angstroms, okay. Now here, so whenever the UV visible radiation will absorb the, some, uh, will, uh, our, now whenever the complex will absorb the, some UV visible radiation will show the complementary color. So the, those complementary color will explained by the color wheel so now the color wheel like this okay now here this is the color wheel okay here in this color wheel we will violet uh, we will violet the indigo color so we will neglect the indigo color now here violet blue green yellow orange red so here the wavelength will start it from 400 to 450 450 to 5 uh, like a 480 490 490 to 550 550 to 580 650 around 750 nanometers so, so these are the wavelength here violet is 400 to 450 so now here blue is 450 to 490 green is 490 to 550 yellow is 550 to 580 orange is 580 to 650 red is 650 to 750 so these are the wavelengths whenever our sample like our complex compound will absorb the wavelength of violet color then it emits the like quite opposite color as a complementary now it emits the right opposite color as a complementary so those complementary colored are visible to our naked eye visible to our naked eye so if uh, our uh, sample will absorb the blue range of uh, 
blue range of the wavelength then it emits the orange range if it absorbs the green range then it emits the uh, red range okay so these ranges uh, will explain with the help of absorption spectrum absorption spectrum of the complex compound absorption spectrum okay we don't know the absorption absorption means uh, the measurement of light uh, will absorbed by the sample absorption is nothing but uh, the measurement of the light measurement of the light uh, absorbed by the sample absorbed by the sample is nothing but absorption whenever the plot and the plot versus uh, absorbance versus wavelength or wave number wavelength or wave number is nothing but a absorption spectrum okay the plot versus uh, uh, the plot uh, absorption versus wavelength or wave number is nothing but a absorption spectrum is nothing but absorption spectrum so this absorption spectrum will clear cutly explained by the one electron system the choosing of a d1 electron system is nothing but so first of all uh, for understanding the uh, absorption spectrum of uh, uh, any electronic spectra any electronic spectra of the complex compounds is better uh, for in case of d3 d4 d5 complexes it is more complicated for the calculation of energy levels okay so that's why we'll go through the d1 complexes that means uh, titanium h2o6 times plus 3 okay it's shown the purple color okay it's shown the purple color again it absorbs why uh, it's shown the purple color means uh, it absorbs the blue green range okay it absorbance is blue green range okay now let us take the this is our titanium complex okay titanium h2o 6 times plus 3 complex now it absorbs the blue green range then it emits the purple color then it emits the purple color so now the complementary color is uh, visible to our naked eye so now our naked eye will is visible the titanium h2o 6 times plus 3 color is purple okay why it shown the purple color why it absorbs the blue green range okay let us take the uh, D, uh, d1 configuration so now we will observe the D1 configuration splitting. Okay. Whenever metal is free state, uh, there is no degeneracy at uh, D orbital. Okay. Again, uh, when a ligand is approaches to the metal atom, then it degeneracy takes place. Degeneracy will destroy. Then it split, uh, splitting takes place. Okay. Now that splitting of D orbitals like this, we are already discussed in the splitting of D orbitals. I will give the link over there. Please watch the, uh, the configurations uh, if you are not understanding the splitting of these terms. Okay. We have the only one, only one electron. So D1 configuration is nothing but it is T2Z1 configuration is zero. You are only one electron. Okay. Whenever we will send the some absorbent radiance, uh, we will send the some radiation to the sample, then the electron of the ground state uh, will jump to the higher energy level will jump to the higher energy level okay now here the configuration is t2 z0 is e1 okay so the excitement of ground state electron to the higher energy level is nothing but electronic transition now here electronic transition takes place now here electronic transition takes place so electronic transition where it is occurred so t2g set to easy set so those t2g set and easy set are belongs to d orbital now the electronic transition takes place in d to d orbital d to d orbital so now here the d t d dd transitions takes place dd transitions takes place okay now here the dd transitions takes place now t2g12 is one t2g12 is one that means here it absorbs the radiation then our electron will jump to the ground state to higher energy level higher energy level at higher energy level it cannot uh, place it permanently okay it cannot uh, uh, locate it permanently again it fall down to the some of the time, like uh, based on the energy excited state, first or second or third. So that falling time, it releases some energy. It releases some energy that is belongs to the other color. Okay, that is belongs to the other color. Okay, so the titanium H2O6 times plus 3 complexes will show the color with the help of absorption spectrum. Okay, now here the log, log epsilon. So this absorption spectrum uh, will depend upon the beer Lambert's law. Beer Lambert's law. A is equal to log of I naught by I, which is nothing but a epsilon LC. Epsilon LC. This is nothing but a beer Lambert's law. So the absorption spectrum will depend upon the beer Lambert's law. Now here wave number in centimeter inverse or wave length in top of the ball. Top. 
to be built in top. So let us take the square box. Okay. So here the absorption spectrum. Okay. Now the wave number ten thousand to thirteen thousand. Now here like fifteen thousand is nothing but four sixty seven or six sixty seven. Okay. Now uh, some of the cases it is five thousand nanometers. Now here. 400 nanometers that means here around 25,000 around these are the approximate values so these are the 360 okay now let us take the, these are the nanometers these in centimeter inverse these are in centimeter inverse okay now whenever our titanium h2o six times plus three sample will send to the uh, uh, uv visible radiation now it gives the this type of spectrum this type of spectrum now here it shown the a shoulder peak it showed the a shoulder peak so here it is approximately 492 492 uh, nanometers it absorption spectrum will show the 492 nanometers here 20 20000 20300 and centimeter inverse 20300 and centimeter inverse okay now <coughs> So uh, the titanium absorption spectrum, that means uh, the electronic transition, it requires the energy that is nothing but a delta O. Okay, it is nothing but a delta O. The delta O value which measured in the absorption spectrum, that is nothing but a 20,300 and centimeter inverse. Okay, now how much energy required in the case of transitional element? So now here only one electron that means a uh, yeah, CFSC value is equal to minus 0 0.4 into like a uh, delta O okay if you want the calculation of CFSC with the help of absorption spectrum we will calculate it we will calculate it now the delta O value is equal to 20,300 and centimeter inverse 20,300 and centimeter inverse that means uh, here one kz is equal to now we will calculate the uh, delta O value in kilojoules uh, 83.1 centimeter inverse now here the delta O is equal to 20,000 to calculate and means uh, by 83.1 that means uh, 24253 approximately kilojoules inverse kilojoules inverse these are the delta o value of uh, titanium h2o6 times delta o value of titanium h2o6 times that means our titanium h2o6 times plus 3 complexes will absorb the radiation at 492 uh, wavelength 492 wavelength that 492 wavelength was absorbed in our color wheel Okay, V, V, B, G, Pi, O, R. Here the 400 to 450 approximate values 490, 550, 580, like a 650, 750, 650, 750. Now here 490 means uh, some bluish green color. We already mentioned in the titanium color. So it absorbs the blue green, bluish green color. Then it emits the quite opposite color is purple. Quite opposite color is orange red. Between the orange red, it's shown the purple color. It's shown the purple color. This is the reason okay behind the showing of color of the complexes okay with the help of absorption spectrum uh, this very helpful information to reason behind the color of the complexes okay the main reason we will discuss here the dd transitions are main reason for the color of the transitional elements color of the transitional elements okay now let us go with the different different uh, transitional elements why they are shown the color where the color is occurred Just a minute. Okay, so based on that, we will discuss the DD transitions or reason for the color. DD transitions are colored complexes. Whenever our complex will possible for the DD transition, then it shown the color. Okay, let us take the D1. We are already discussed the D1 example. That's why we'll go through the D2. Okay, here D2 means uh, here the possible for uh, electronic excitement. Uh, it shown the color. Okay, for example D3, it shown the color like at, uh, up to D9. Okay. D9 means uh, here one orbital is empty. So here it is possible for the uh, sixth electron of T2G2, 10th uh, vacant, uh, vacant site of the 10th electron. Okay, it is also possible. Now here D1 to D9 configurations will possible for the electronic transitions. Electronic transition. That's why D1 to D9 complexes are called transitional metal elements. Transitional 
metal elements okay so d1 to d9 it shown the transitional transitional capacity that's why d1 to d9 complexes are colored okay some of the exceptions are there we will discuss later on uh, this topic okay here yeah, d1 to d9 complexes are colored so what about d0 and d10 so in case of d0 if there is any electron is present then only possible for the electronic transition from ground state to higher energy state there is no electron how it is possible okay so d0 complexes are colorless d0 complexes are colorless now what about d10 here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 if there is no vacant orbital, if any vacant orbital is there, so the electronic excitement takes place from ground state to higher state is possible. Okay. If there is no electron, uh, though there is no empty orbital for uh, uh, joining the another electron from ground state to higher energy state, there is no possibility. That's why D10 configurations are also colorless compounds. Okay. So D D transitions are colored except D0 and D10. So these are the colored compounds. These are the colored compounds. The remaining one is nothing but D1 to D9. Those are called transitional metal elements. Those are called transitional metal elements. Okay. Now, even though uh, D0 configuration of KMNO4, we are discussed in earlier class of uh, earlier starting of this lecture. So KMNO4 it's on the purple color. So whenever uh, it is uh, diluted, then it's on the pink color. That means here the MN. O4, MnO4 means uh, Mn plus 7 oxidation state, S2D5, that means uh, D0 configuration. Even though it having the D0 configuration, it's only purple color. It is very interesting. Okay. Now, we are discussing about uh, uh, DD transitions can only possible for the color. But here, KmnO4 purple color, it's only purple color. That's why uh, uh, we will restate uh, our uh, statement. Okay. Re, uh, we will, uh, we will re construct our statement okay now that is nothing but uh, if d1 to d9 configurations are colored not d1 to d9 only colored okay so but some of the exceptions are there those exceptions are explained by the charge transfer spectra charge transfer spectra okay if you need to this charge transfer spectra I will uh, I will upload the video of on um, charge transfer spectra very soon. Okay, so this is the color of the complex compounds. These are the reasons uh, about color of the complex compounds. Now let us take the CSI point of view. Now in CSI point of view, the, how it is predicted the complex com uh, complex compounds colors uh, with the help of ligand nature with the help of uh, ligand nature. Okay, so how it is predicted based on the ligand nature. So the ligand nature will explain by the spectrochemical series. Uh, so here, the help of spectrochemical series, we will predict the uh, exact color of the complex compound. So now I have shown the uh, spectrochemical series in the below. So with the help of these spectrochemical series, we will find the uh, color of the complexes. We will match the color of the complexes. Okay, and now let us take the uh, strong field ligand. One is a strong field ligand. So first one is... Uh, strong field ligand so strong field ligand means delta o is more so that means more energy whatever in case of a weak field ligand so here the energy delta o is less delta o is less here it is more here it is less so strong field and weak field ligand so strong field ligand it requires more energy uh, to uh, absorb the frequency that means um, in the color wheel so v b g y o r okay so here the 400 and nanometer to 750 nanometer we have the some relations h is equal to uh, energy is equal to h nu e is equal to hc by lambda here nu is equal to c by lambda e is equal to hc into nu bar 1 by lambda is equal to nu bar so in the in the formula we know that e is inversely proportional to the wavelength okay if wavelength inc increased from uh, violet to red then that means uh, energy is decreased here the lesser wavelength lesser wavelength that means more energy here the higher wavelength higher wavelength that means lesser energy that means lesser energy okay here the lesser wavelength more energy higher the wavelength lesser energy okay and this is the uh, color wheel of energy diagram okay now here the strong field ligand it requires more energy that means uh, more energy here the started from violet to blue or green or white yellow based on the strength if it is a uh, more and more strong field like a cyanide uh, C n minus C O that means uh, it, it absorbs the violet radiation then it complementary color is by yellow okay if it is a strong field it requires more energy 
requires more energy that's why here the uh, lambda is low wavelength is low then it shown the quite opposite of the complementary color we know that okay the, if it absorbs the violet color then it uh, emits the yellow color if it absorbs the blue blue uh, wavelength blue colored wavelength then it emits the orange color if it absorbs the green then it emits the uh, red color so not the uh, uh, violet blue green okay if it is very strong field then it means the yellow color that's why uh, several compounds of the strong field ligands which shown the yellow color due to the uh, which uh, large requirement of large energy okay when in case of a weak field again and now here it started from the red so weak field means lesser energy lesser energy means more wavelength if it is absorbs the red color wavelength then it shown the green color now here weak field again requires less energy less energy that means lambda is more lambda is more so we will uh, understood this topic uh, with a very simple example okay for, for our understanding for our understanding, I'll give the very simple trick to find the uh, color matching color matching of the complex compound. Color matching of the complex compound. Let us go through the simple formula. Now, first one is complementary color. Complementary color. Now, the second one is absorbed color. Absorbed color. That means uh, uh, third one is energy. If it absorbed based on the absorbed color, we will fix it at energy level. Now the fourth one is strength of ligand. Strength of ligand. So these four rules will enough to find the color of the complexes. Now uh, they are given in the complex uh, like a metal L N. Here metal L N. Uh, L N. Here L dash N. Okay. One of the color is red. Like I will go, I will write over there M L N. M L dash M. Okay. So here one of the color is red, another one color is blue. So please match the these two colors with L and L dash based on the ligand strength, based on the ligand strength. We don't know. Okay. So the first complementary color, so we will take the complementary colors. One is red, another one is blue. Okay, red is blue. The first color is complementary, red and blue. So with the help of a color V V B G Y O R. If it is a red means, if the complementary color is red, that means here the absorbed color is green. Absorbed color is green. Okay, if complementary color is blue, that means here absorbed color is orange. Absorbed color is orange. Okay, in case of green and orange, green and orange, so here the green, here the orange. Now left to right, a wavelength decreases, That sorry, wavelength increases, that means energy decreases. Here green is more energy. Orange is less energy. Okay, so more energy is nothing but a strong field ligand. Less energy is nothing but weak field ligand. If you know the strength of the ligands, if L n is more strength than the L L dash n, L dash. Okay, that means a uh, L n is a strong field ligand when compared to the L dash n. Then strong field ligand is nothing but L n. Weak field ligand is nothing but L dash n. L dash n. So L n is belongs to the red color. L dash n will belongs to the blue color. Okay, this is the matching of the color. Now we will, we will solve some of the CSI problems uh, uh, for the better understanding of uh, this color wheel. Okay, now we have to solve the problems which are given in the 2014 June for four marker. For four marker, very easy question. When we see the question, uh, it is a pretty easy to solving the questions. Uh, so such type of questions. Okay, now the f <coughs> question is cobalt L63 is red color, whereas cobalt L plus three, uh, L dash plus three is green in color okay l and l dash are respectively now we are discussed uh, in previously okay so here a is ammonia and a is ammonia and water b is ammonia and 1 comma 10 phenanthylene c is water and 1 comma 10 phenanthylene d is water and ammonia we don't know so l belongs to either ammonia or phenanthylene we don't know okay now with the, with the help of uh, uh, these uh, red and green color we will find the uh, strength of the l and l dash uh, l and l dash now so we will go through the pre our previous four four rules one is a complementary color so the complementary colors are red and green so this is belongs to l this is belongs to l dash okay so then the absorbance color if uh, with the help of color wheel so v b g y o r so if it is red that means it absorbs the green color if it is green that means it absorbs the red color 
okay so from going on violet to red that means uh, wavelength increases energy decreases energy decreases means uh, green is more energy when compared to red so this is more energy when compared to red it is less energy more energy now it is energy is more when compared to second one okay now the fourth more energy means it is a strong field again it is weak field again okay now we have to solve the problems within uh, within 30 seconds okay l is a strong field again l dash is weak field again now with the help of uh, the spectrochemical series uh, now which are shown in the below the spectrochemical series so these ligands are arranged in the uh, the ligand strength now here phenanthylene is a strong field again then ammonia so ammonia is strong field again then water so with the help of uh, uh, like a phenanthylene, ammonia, water. Okay, they are asking about the respectively L and the L dash. So L is a strong field ligand, then after uh, L dash is a weak field ligand. So the first strong field followed by the weak field. Now here, so the last one, water is a uh, weaker than the ammonia, but they are given in the water followed by ammonia. This is not our option. Okay, so water and phenanthylene, it is also. So here phenanthylene is strong ligand. They are asking about L and the L dash. L is strong, uh, L dash is weak, but here L is weak, uh, L dash is strong. That's why it is also wrong answer. Now again, ammonia and 1 comma 10 phenanthylene. So here ammonia is weaker when compared to the 1 comma 10 phenanthylene. But according to our question, L is stronger than that of L dash. That's why it is also our, not our option. Okay. Now the final one is our option. So how it is our option? Now ammonia and water. Ammonia and water. So ammonia is uh, uh, pretty stronger than the uh, light, stronger than the water. That means uh, ammonia is stronger than the water. So ammonia belongs to the red color. Water belongs to the green color. So this is the uh, solution of the complex. Very simple uh, trick. The, this is the solution for... Uh, uh, this is the method to solve the problems uh, with a very easier trick. Uh, I think it is uh, more than one, one minute is enough. Okay. Now let us go to the second problem. I have to look down to solve the problem number two, which is given in 2016 for two marker, I think. So nickel 2 L6 N plus shows the absorption bands at 8,500 and 15,400 uh, 15, and 46,600 centimeter inverse. Now here, whereas uh, nickel 2 L6 L it's from the 10,750, 17,500, 28,200 centimeter inverse. L and L dash are respectively. They are given in the four options, uh, which is regarding to the uh, spectrochemical series. Okay. Now, so according to the uh, uh, like uh, electronic spectra so these are the lesser values wave number is lesser that means lesser energy when compared to the second one okay so according to the uh, data l is lesser than that of l dash so that means l dash is a strong field again l is weak field again l is weak field again now we will go through the bottom to the top okay so now in previous cases uh, complementary absorbed color as well as uh, like a third one energy and uh, ligand nature now we'll go through the bottom to now here the ligand nature so l is weak the ligand nature l is weak uh, when compared to strong uh, l dash okay now with the help of energy so uh, in the lig here ligand strength is weak and strong that means uh, energy is less uh, when compared to the strong okay here it is more so which is for the which is regarding to the given data okay so l regarding to the lesser values that's why it is weak field ligand l dash is a higher value more values that means it is strong field ligand so with the help of uh, the below spectrochemical series uh, we will find the ligands so l is weak and l dash is strong so l and l dash that means uh, weak and strong okay how they are arranged in weak to strong ligand okay now in the spectrochemical series uh, n3 minus is less strong n3 minus is lesser than that of oh minus that means oh minus is strong but they are asking about l first l and l dash okay here l is equal to weak according to our assumption l is equal to weak but here l is given in the strong field again so it is not our option now we know that again the spectrochemical series i is cl minus i is cl minus so i is weaker than cl minus is stronger okay here l is weak according to our uh, uh, question l is weak but here cl minus is strong regarding to this spectrochemical series so this is also wrong okay now here the c is uh, ncs minus r r c o o minus now here like a uh, r c o o minus uh, and ncs minus this is the spectrochemical series order so now here ncs minus is strong now they are according to our question ncs minus uh, is weak okay l is weak but here it is not weak that's why it is also wrong now in case of ammonia and water 
now in case of ammonia and water a yeah, water is weak field again ammonia is strong field again so ammonia is a strong field water is weak field so now l is weak field that's why here l is weak field water is weak field when compared to the ammonia so our option is d is correct so now we'll go through the next problem now we have to look out a third problem match the items in three columns so column one column two column three what is complex color absorption so the nickel H2O six times, NO3 taken twice, the first, first complex. The second complex is nickel NH3 six times, NO3 taken twice. Third complex is nickel ethylene diamond three times, uh, NO3 two times, NO3 two times. So now the column two is regarding to the color, one is blue, green, violet. So column three is regarding to the wavelength uh, uh, in a maximum of absorption, 675, 565, 6, 615. Now here they are given in the three three columns, okay. So in the previous cases, we saw the two types of problems. Again, we use the same four rules, like a complex absorbed as well as the energy strength of the ligand okay we will go through the, these three pro, these three rule, these four rules now here they are given in the one correct option okay uh, find the those correct options so now the first one is complementary color first one is complementary color one is blue green okay next one is violet blue green violet okay these are the colors okay so blue green violet is one two three okay so now the absorption of the color with the help of uh, like a uh, color wheel vbg y o r okay so here blue means it absorbs the color is orange now here the green means it absorbs the color as red so here the violet means uh, it absorbs the color on violet okay with the help of absorption now we will write the energy of those complexes so now orange red yellow okay so yellow has the strong ligand yellow is more energy now again uh, orange and red red is the least energy so the uh, orange is medium energy okay this is the energy level so if more energy means a strong field ligand so the least energy means a, like a weak field ligand the medium is a medium a middle of the ligands so middle, middle of the spectrochemical series middle of the spectrochemical series this is the ligand field strength okay now so the strong field ligand among these three complexes is ethylene diamine when compared to ammonia when compared to water. So the strong field ligand means uh, ethylene diamine, the complex is uh, C. Okay, so the strong field ligand will uh, corresponding to the violet color. Is it right or wrong? The strong field ligand is uh, corresponding to the violet color C3. Okay. So the strong field ligand is corrected to the uh, violet color. Again, so the strong field ligand violet color, that means here more the energy, the lambda value, the fifth column is more the energy is less, uh, less the wavelength, lesser the wavelength, here more wavelength, uh, here medium wavelength. So among these three, which is a lesser wavelength, which is lesser wavelength, that is 565. 565 is nothing but y. So one is a C three Y. So let us so let us go through the C C three Y. First one is okay. Now uh, the, let us check the remaining one C three Z. It is wrong. Okay, so it is wrong. Now the second one is a C two Y. It is also wrong. Now the third one is a C three Y. So here uh, little bit uh, complication is there. Little bit complication is there. Now we'll go through the so second option. Now we'll go through the second one. Like that is nothing but. Uh, very weaker one so the, this is the here the very weak field ligand so weak field ligand among these three is water weak field ligand among these three is water so weak field ligand that means water water belongs to the a so a water weak field ligand that means the color is green the green color is nothing but two green color is nothing but two again so a is a weak field ligand color is green that means a wavelength is very higher wavelength is very higher among these three wavelength is higher is x so a to x among a and d a to x option is a only so if the a to x is fixed the remaining or b one z b one z so this is the simplest way to find the uh, color of the to predicting the color of the complex compounds so these five are the very easier rules so, so the first one is complementary color absorbed color energy strength of the ligand the final one is if it required uh, the based on the wavelength uh, now we will introduce the fifth one is wavelength fifth one is wavelength okay so these are the problems which are given in the csr pro csr previous csr questions okay now thank you for watching